If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, is social anxiety caused by early childhood experiences? Depends. In my case, I know that having a difficult childhood growing up made me socially anxious. I had hard time coming up with replies because in my mind I am trying to figure out the perfect response. I am always trying to be perfect and nice, which puts me in a lot of pressure to be perfect. I can't hurt people intentionally and I feel really guilty if someone is hurt because of me. I tend to be really hard on myself if someone else is disappointed by my behavior. So, my solution was that I didn't socialize that often due to my fear of being judged, disliked or misunderstood. Which was really stupid because in my high school I people thought I was really arrogant, and trust me I am not. But life is a progress and now I have finally begun to understand that I can't make everyone happy and I don't need to. I don't really like small talks, they seem like a time waste. No offense. But if there is a need I try to be the one who strikes up the conversation first, I try to break the ice, the result is not always pretty but I do it anyways. Living with social anxiety is difficult and being introverted on top of that makes my life really hard. But that is who I am. There is nothing wrong with being anxious and we all come from different background and history. Even if someone seems uptight, I have been called that a lot, chances are they are actually really nice people once you talk to them. There is no magical cure for social anxiety but as a general remedy, I can say that, accepting myself the way I am helps. People are good to me if I am good to them. But if someone is disrespectful to me or tries to bring me down, I just ignore them. I try to surround myself with positive people who knows me and accepts me the way I am. It is not always possible and I have to deal with antis from time to time, but I try not to focus on them too much. Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.